My name is Elizabeth. I live in Quebec and I'm a health consultant and a PhD student. I think that public health is very important to Canadians for a number of reasons, uh, both from the terms of infectious disease, in terms of prevention, in terms of the determinants of health such as poverty, and I think it's something that we really need to pay more attention to. I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba. I'm retired. But public health is uh, an important issue amongst all of us, and uh, I know it is a concern for our First Nations communities, which is why I'm here today to learn more about what public health is all about as it affects my community. I'm from Newfoundland and Labrador, and uh, I'm a, an associate professor of public health at Memorial University, and I have a clinical position uh, as well as work in the academic environment. And what does public health mean to me? Uh, I think it's an important uh, avenue towards improving the health of the entire population. It's uh, a way we can address a variety of, of health issues uh, that, from a prevention perspective, that's not being addressed uh, in the healthcare sector. Uh, and uh, most of health, as we know, is uh, founded on the determinants of health. And uh, I think public health is the vehicle through which we do that. Alors pour moi, l'objectif de la santé publique, c'est de donner aux individus la même chance à chacun d'être en santé, d'être bien euh, dans sa peau, dans sa tête, euh, autant au niveau euh, des maladies qu'au niveau juste du bien-être avec la famille. C'est de donner toutes les mêmes chances égales à chacun et à chacune, de passer au travers des épisodes de la vie. C'est une mission de la santé publique, je pense. Hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm a student in the MPH program at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon. And I think public health is important because it's about building a better community for Canadians to live in and it will benefit us all in the end. Well, what public health means to me, public health is what puts us together as a society that's really about looking out for one another and looking out for our collective better interests. It's what makes us a humane and civil society both in terms of looking out for our, our, our physical health, but our mental and spiritual and physical well-being as a, as a society. And it's not just about individuals, it's about us as a community. I think that health public health is the difference between giving soins and taking care of soins. It's a concept that is much more large than health. It understands everything, to my opinion. It understands n'importe quoi, marcher dans la rue, comme se faire soigner, comme être malade, comme ne pas être malade du tout. Euh, c'est ce qui est intéressant de travailler en santé publique, c'est qu'on peut élargir complètement le concept. Bon, je m'appelle Gabi Jabour. Euh, moi, je travaille pour un programme, un projet d'immunisation à l'international. Euh, je suis à Ottawa. Euh, pour moi, la santé publique euh, a pour but de préserver et d'améliorer la santé des, de toute la communauté. Euh, à mon avis, un bon système de santé publique devrait, euh, un, prévenir et contrôler les maladies, euh, deux, euh, promouvoir des attitudes et des pratiques auprès des gens qui favorisent leur bonne santé, euh, trois, dépister les problèmes de santé à l'avance et intervenir en cas de besoin, autrement dit avoir une bonne surveillance, euh, et quatre, euh, aborder les déterminants de la santé tels que l'emploi, l'éducation, euh, l'environnement physique, l'environnement professionnel, etc., qui ont un impact sur la santé des, des gens. Uh, hi, my name is Stephen Samus. I'm the Director of Health Policy with the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Canada. And to me, public health means um, doing what we need to do to protect the health of the Canadian population, um, particularly addressing the things that really impact on people's health, um, the determinants of health, uh, making our society as healthy as we possibly can, the environments that we live in are as healthy as we can make them, and giving people the help and tools they need when they need it so that they can help themselves uh, and uh, that we can create a healthier population. For me, health public health is the means that a society can be doted to improve or maintain the health of the population. So, as much as a community, as a individual, familial, and really to promote or maintain the health before people are sick or that we see that there is a problem. My name is Rosemary Goodyear. I'm a VP for Community and Primary Health Care uh, in Newfoundland with the Central Regional Health Authority there. And I've had involvement with public health for a number of years, starting out as a frontline practitioner, uh, moving progressively through management positions to my current position. 
very pleased to see that CPHA is celebrating 100 years. I think that over that 100 years, we've, uh, as public health, we've certainly had a great impact on the health of individual citizens, families, and their communities at large. Public health, as most people know, uh, is certainly a very broad-ranging uh, system and a service within our communities, right from working with individuals to keep individuals healthy uh, through things like our healthy babies, uh, immunization, support new mothers and children and families, right to working with entire communities in terms of looking at all sorts of factors such as social factors, economic factors, access to general health service, and investing in early intervention and prevention uh, to keep people healthy and maintain them in their communities. Uh, my involvement has been as a, a public health nurse, but like most people, we know that public health really makes an impact when we work from a team perspective. So as a nurse, we're certainly very inter interested in having that team approach. So congratulations to CPA, and we hope they continue to make an investment for the next 100 years.